Good morning. Today is the day that we are moving my cat Mickey down to Florida. So it is a travel day, a moving vlog day. I feel like I've done this move now so many times. Well, I've really only done it once for me moving to Florida and that was last January. But if you guys remember when I came home for a just visit home back in April, we ended up, me and my parents were supposed to fly back down to Florida and we ended up having like a crazy thing happen. All the flights were canceled for days and we had to do a road trip down to Florida. And that was right around the time when I was actually starting a new job. I had left my job at Disney, how I had initially moved down to Florida. So it kind of felt like a symbolic like starting over like moving again to Florida doing that road trip so I kind of feel like this is in some way the third time that I've done this trek um yeah and this time if you would have seen the announcement video this is moving my cat Mickey down to Florida we are a bundle of nerves and anxiety this morning like honestly we just want everything to go as smoothly as possible we don't want him to be stressed out in any way he hates the car we've been I don't think I've met, talked about this yet on the vlog but we've been trying to like associate the car with being like a positive thing Nick, hello yes you know this is a fufu cat I'm bringing his Japanese drinking bowl from Epcot. From Epcot, yes, he needs to have, because when we've tried to give him stuff in different plates, it doesn't go well. He needs to have, he likes his certain china ware from the Japan Pavilion. Fan. And his own personal fan, yes. We're trying to get everything for him to make it as easy as possible. <laughs> okay, so I was saying, yeah, he's only, poor thing, he's only ever associated the car with like a negative thing of like going to the vet or something that he doesn't like. Other than that, in his day to day life, he never rides in the car so we've been trying to do we've been calling it car enrichment where like literally i can insert some footage like me and my mom will like take him to the car and just sit with him and try to like just be like oh we're hanging out like it's good and it's been a journey the very first time that my parents did that he ended up getting sick in the car he was not happy so we've all been so stressed about this and slowly as we kind of started like doing the trial runs again like it's gotten better but he's still been very stressed out which has us in a state of panic so we ended up talking to his vet and they have given him he's on some meds right now that ended up being the best solution to just help calm us all down and to make it as easy as possible for him so he just took his little dose of it's a non-drowsy because we were like is it going to knock him out apparently it's not going to knock him out and make him sleepy it might kind of promote him being able to relax and just get his normal like naps during the day in but really it's just kind of supposed to help him like chill out we gave him that about an hour ago his first dose and we're hoping that that's going to kind of help calm him and then we can go ahead and get on the road here we want it to kick in also, Mickey will now tell you that living in Orlando is wonderful. And if you would like to plan your visit to Orlando, to Walt Disney World, please contact my friends over at 407 and Beyond Vacation Company. They'll be able to help you out with every part of the planning process to make your life a lot easier and you just get to relax and enjoy your vacation. You can get a free no obligation quote anytime at 407vacations.com. But yeah, let me show you the current car setup. So it seems like I'm gonna be back here with Mickey most of the time so I have my backpack down here we have it all done up with just cozy blankets things that Mickey likes to lay on uh, one of the biggest things that everyone's been telling us is have as many of like his items um, you know around so that he feels comfortable so like we have the blanket that he always loves to lie on right here um, we have this little carrier we've also heard it's good to have like some type of carrier um, that he could go into to kind of feel enclosed and cozy if he wants. So we're kind of thinking the way we've barricaded this off, it'd be nice to let him kind of have a bit of a run of the back seat so he doesn't feel completely confined, but then he can also go in somewhere if he needs to get cozy. And hopefully with me being back here and just chilling with him, he'll try to, you know, relax. Also, if you go around back here, Here's his litter box because that was the other thing when we were researching trying to look up a ton of videos on like traveling with a cat We were always like where do they put their litter box? So this is what my dad has done a great job. Good job dad. Thank you daddy <laughs> Anyone know where that line is from? Thank you daddy um, My dad's done a good job with trying to get the whole car Just completely. How would you say that like a like a puzzle put all this together 
to have like the scene from Joel's. If you pull one strap, the whole thing falls down. The so whole yeah, basically. So yeah, there's like all of our little carry-ons and everything is all bungee corded. But yeah, this is kind of Mickey's run. If he has his carrier, he has just this little area to hang out. We did put like the um like the dog and cat like pee pee pads down in case. Hopefully we don't have any accidents, but in case we got that underneath all the blankets here and everything. Gone back around to his litter box there. And then we have more of just all of our stuff in the back. The other thing that is just like so crazy is that this is probably my last time that I'm ever gonna be here in my childhood home, which is kind of emotional. Um, I think there's just so many other things going on right now. I haven't really been thinking about it, but the reality is with me moving Mickey down to Florida, like I'm probably not going to ever like travel these next like couple months until my parents move to Florida because I don't think I'm gonna like, I don't wanna up and leave him just yet without either me or my parents there. So I probably am not gonna like, the possibility of me like up and coming up here for like a long weekend or anything is now very slim. Like I don't think it's gonna happen. So this is my last time ever in this house. How are you? I'm, I'm stressed. But We're all anxious mess. Yeah. For, for the best. This is, he's not a car cat. Mm -mm. You know, he's always been an indoor cat. So it's, it, it worries me. We had a couple, you probably told them, trial runs that weren't so good, but the vet has given us some suggestions and a little bit of calming medicine and... He seems pretty calm right now. <laughs> He's kind of drugged. We need some meds. We need some meds. <laughs> we all need a little something. We just worry about him, so... Yeah, I'm we're this anxious. This is a good experience, but um, trusting that God will get us there safely. Yeah, we just want to get there. That's what yeah, we We just want to get here. I just want this to be over with. Yeah. I wish it was a one-day drive, but... I mean, we could keep going all through the night, but then you get like over time. We're just gonna have to see how. We're gonna see how it goes. We're starting out pretty early here in the morning. What time is it? 9:21. We got up early, but we wanted to, like you said, we had to give him his medicine, and we wanted it to take effect first. So we've been kind of just chilling. We tried to eat some breakfast, and yeah. But yeah, I was just telling the vlog. This is like my last time ever here in this house, probably, because I'm not gonna be coming back until you guys move. And I feel like there's too many other things going on right now for me to fully process that you know but also I'll have to insert some footage Mickey was earlier kind of just sitting here by the window and we said it was almost like he was saying goodbye to PA like he was just kind of looking and looking out the window like it's always what he likes to do he likes to sit at these windows so we were telling him about how in Florida as a Florida kitty he'll be able to look out and he'll be able to have the windows open year-round and like go out on the balcony <laughs> yeah. and yeah so I think he'll love it once he gets there we just gotta get there yeah it's the car thing he's not familiar with a car mm -hmm. and I should have been doing this I guess a lot more. He's just always been such a chill cat. Yeah. And there was never a need to, to put him to, in the car. You know, other than to go to the vet, which is literally less than a mile from our house. So yeah. It's not this long period of time, but he eventually calms down. So that's what I'm hoping. Exactly. Happen here, especially with you now home. Yes. Um, and he has somebody in the back seat with him. So. That's the hope. That's the yes, hope. that's the hope. <laughs> Me and mom were just laughing because we said, it's always funny, like, before we travel, we kind of have a routine, like, with leaving the house here of, like, oh, make sure, like, that door's closed so Mickey doesn't, we have plants in there, like, he make sure he doesn't get in and get the plants or, like, like, we just had, like, a plastic bag laying out. And it's, like, usually you worry, like, as a pet owner, you just are constantly thinking about all those things like oh pick that up so he doesn't you know get into that or grab that or something and we were doing something like that and we're like wait he's not gonna we're not leaving without him like we're, it, that's the whole point it's like he's getting in the car with us like you just do little things like that like all those little things are like making it real that like he's gonna come live in florida with me he's just like chilling right now just kind of sleeping i think his meds are definitely they're helping which is a good thing we just want him to if he could just sleep most of this car ride that, that would be great Here we go. Say bye bye, house. Bye bye. Good job. Here we go. Bye bye. We'll see you soon.
just crossed into Mickey's first new state. He's now in Maryland. He's doing it. One state down. Mickey decided he wanted his mama, but he's been chilling. He's been doing really good, as you can so see. Far. So far, so good. Dad, do you? What do you think of all this foliage that's around here? It's very nice. Slowly turning. Mm -hmm. Ohio has nice foliage. It's very underrated, though. That's Pennsylvania okay. is nice too. <laughs> Dad said it wouldn't be a travel vlog if we didn't have a birdcage reference. This is one of my old camera now. So the other thing that we threw in the car here, Mickey always loves, this is one of our kitchen chair cushions that are actually from our kitchen chairs in the house. And he loves like these cushions. Like that's honestly one of the places he lays the most is on the kitchen chairs. So we put in a kitchen chair cushion to like give another sense of comfort. And that's where he's deciding to chill right now. Aren't you Mick? He just came back here and decided he wanted to lay on the kitchen chair. We're gonna go under the water. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Oh, it got dark. You're doing good, baby. You're doing so good. We're back outside. Washington DC that we are in and we can actually see parts of DC I just saw the Capitol building peeking up overhead there's the Pennsylvania Avenue um, exit so hard to film it. Thank Mick. You want to see it? It's your first time in DC, baby. Virginia. We made it to Virginia, by the way. Dad's right now. We had to take shifts going to the restrooms up here. Dad is in the car. Dad is right now in the car with Mickey. You're being very good. Oh, look, you're curled up now. Back on your cushion. Hi. First rest stop of the trip 
has been a success so far. We just got out of the back some of our snacks. We're gonna have snacks for the road. Oh yeah, here's the combos. Dad's making, as we call it, the dashboard diner up in the front. Yeah, Mickey seemed to like, he stood up here and he was watching the cars go past. He seemed to really like that. Mickey is asleep and now we just made it to our next little stop. We're getting out at the North Carolina Welcome Center. This is actually a fun fact. Do you remember we took my thumbnail for my move to Florida? in front of my car. I think we were like right under that tree there. We were like parked right here somewhere. So that's my memory of the North Carolina Welcome Center. But Mickey's, we want to try to keep him sleeping. So we're all gonna take shifts again, go into the restroom. But yeah, here's some foliage still down here in North Carolina. You see him. Mickey is so cozy. I just told mom, wouldn't you love to have, oh, he heard the doors open. But I was like, wouldn't you love to have a little spot like this to lay? Like, going down the road with people driving you? Also, look at our little Disney decal of the Disney kitty. Literally now our Disney kitty is moving to Florida. How are you liking the drive so far? You're doing good. down we'll have another nap but we're in North Carolina now so we're getting there we're like it's exciting seeing each state line is always like North Carolina I feel like it's the point where you're like okay we're getting into kind of the south now I just have to show this we are currently we're still in North Carolina they have just wildflowers all the way down and it's gorgeous that was stunning. Look at that. We're listening to some Jimmy Buffett music and it's relaxing Mickey. I've been curled up here with him. He's doing really, really good. He makes us very happy. into South Carolina from North Carolina. Look at the sombrero. There it is. Oh, there was a bigger sign. I was filming that little sign in the middle. That was a nice sign though. But they're south of the border. There's palm trees. Oh yeah, dad said that we had to have a competition of who was gonna spot the first palm tree and dad just did. There were some palm trees. Mickey, you have never seen a palm tree before in your life. Well, at least not like a natural one. I guess we've had a couple little like potted palm trees in the house maybe before, but like actual palm trees. There was just one that we passed. Cause you're gonna see some at the house soon. Yeah, it's exciting never seen palm trees before. It's going to be a whole new world of new things. It's going to be new birds to watch. New wildlife outside to look at. You're doing so good, baby. So we are at the South Carolina Welcome Center right now. And look, he's having some treats and his dry. And Dad gave him some water. Did you say he drank some water too? He hasn't drank the water yet, I don't But he's doing good. Oh, look, there's other doggies out here. Maybe they're also moving. Hi, you're doing good. <laughs> okay, I just got back in the car. I'm trying to get Mickey to come back here with me. Mickey, come here. Come back here. He's like, this is so fascinating. We've never done this before. It was good you ate some of your food. You had some dinner. At the South Carolina Welcome Center. Are <laughs> you waiting? There's dad. <laughs> I know, that's why we're trying to get him to come back with me now. Come here. 
so we're passing we actually saw this the last time that we were driving down they have a Bucky's now in Florence South Carolina I don't think we're gonna stop though because we are actually getting ready to go to a hotel for the night but yeah that's a really big Bucky's as all Bucky's typically are Mom's booking our hotel right now. It's dark so you can't really see, but Mickey's still, he curled back in again. So hopefully he will sleep good tonight in the hotel. Mickey just woke up. And what are we doing? We're gonna have your first ever experience in a hotel. What do you think? We're gonna go to the Hampton Inn and Suites by Hilton right here in Florence, South Carolina. And yeah, this will be Mickey's first ever hotel experience. And we decided to stop here in Florence, South Carolina. We were gonna try to get as far as um, Santee, which is a little bit further like into South Carolina. Um, we still made it to South Carolina, which is really, really amazing. I'm like watching Mickey so he doesn't jump up into the front seat right now. Um, yeah, we still made it to South Carolina. We were gonna try to get further, but we were calling hotels down in that area and all of them were sold out, like every single one. And yeah, you know, we don't usually like to pre-book hotels when we do our road trips, just because it's like, you never know, like timing wise, if you're gonna make it that far, if you're gonna make it even further and want something else. Right, Mickey? What do you think? <laughs> so we always try to then like, just start calling around or like looking, but we got really scared because there was like starting to not be many options available which was just crazy and if you saw our travel day from the last time that we did a florida road trip which was the unexpected florida road trip where our flight was canceled and we ended up having to drive back down to florida we were trying so desperately we hit so many different towns to find a hotel and there was like events like all up and down 95 like all these different things that were happening there was like a dance competition and there was like some um sport event there was like all these different things and long story short, we ended up sleeping in a car. We slept in this very car, my mom's car, which was very, very tight and cramped, but we made it work. We, you know, we did what we had to do for the night, but yeah, we wanted to avoid that happening. And so when we saw that we were like, okay, there seems like there's some hotels available here in Florence. We're like, we're gonna take that. Oh my gosh, look what you just got. You got toys. You got toys. They gave you a little pet gift at check-in. That's amazing. And like you said, Mom, it was a $75 goodie bag. Yeah. <laughs> that was the pet fee was $75? <gasps> That's insane. No, it said non-refundable. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's a mess. And you're such a clean, nice kitty. Don't they know that? But you got a toy. So that, that's what matters. We'll have to do an unboxing of your little gift when we get upstairs, okay? Mickey, where are we at? We just brought him upstairs. He also had his first ride in an elevator to get to the third floor. He's never been in an elevator before. What do you think? Now this isn't your new house. This is just where we're gonna stay for the night. What do you think? Check it all out. And we can open your goodie bag too. Your goodie bag of stuff. Here, Mickey, be a vlogger. We're going to do a room tour. Ready? So you walk in, look at how nice, this is a massive room. So they only had a king with a pull out queen sleeper sofa available. But that's actually really nice because it's kind of given us some more space out here and everything. Then you have a barn sliding door. This is your first time seeing this. He's really not sure what to think right now. Oh, there you are in the mirror. Look at the pretty kitty. Yes, here's the king bed. This is a nice room. Yeah. This is so nice. And here, let's finish the room tour we have over here. Here I am as a travel day best. This is like actually really amazing. This is a lot of space. 
They have another like um, one of those sliding barn style doors that then leads into the bathroom. Really nice glass shower, love that. Like this kind of faux wood tile they have all throughout. You have the toilet right there. Like this is just massive and yeah, nice sliding doors. Fancy. Let's see, where did he get to? Mickey. You checking out under the bed? That's a bed, yeah. They got beds here. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're so cute. You're a hotel kitty. You're doing so good. His litter. They got all your yes. stuff. Oh. You want it over here? There you go. Where Look do you want here. your litter? There you go. Oh, Mickey. <laughs> you you like yourself out like. Like, oh, look at me. Hey, here's another cat. <laughs> I look good. <laughs> he was doing that in this we one don't earlier. Really have any mirrors? This low that for him to ground. see. <laughs> look at how pretty that kitty is. Who's that pretty kitty? Who's that pretty kitty, Mickey? <laughs> oh, look at you. He also just went inside this closet and it was really cute. We just got a Domino's pizza as our dinner, and we are gonna have some drinks. I'm gonna have a little rum and coke. Mom and Dad, what are you having? You. you have some wine that you brought. There we go, and Mickey has his dinner down here. And he's doing so good. He just sat for the longest time on this chair here, and me and Mom, just we turned on King of Queens, and we're just hanging out. And you're doing so good. You really are. Somebody just jumped up and discovered the window. Oh my goodness, it's just like at home how you look outside. But what's outside here? What do you see? What do you see? Oh. And we're watching the Golden Girls now? Are you watching the Golden Girls? And you're looking outside? Good morning. It is now the next morning and Mickey just spent his first night ever in a hotel room and you did really good for the most part. Really good. <laughs> so last night at around, what was it? Like 3 a.m. He was really chill like all last night. Like you saw he was just kind of like exploring everything, hanging out in the room. It was around like three o'clock in the morning. We were all sleeping and he just kind of started, I think his meds wore off at that point. <laughs> and he just started like roaming and was like meowing and like he got up on the um, entertainment center and was just like pay kind of pacing back and forth. So he just couldn't settle. So I got up, my mom got up and we were just kind of like hanging out with him. We got him finally to like 
settle down and he did sleep for a little bit um, with me on the pool out out there and he then did really good from that point and then this morning he was still just kind of like okay what's like going on um, but it, like overall we, we were still able to calm him down through all that and like he did he did amazing um, so um, he just had his dose of his meds for today and he's starting to already like chill out a little bit more right he's watching TV he's fixated on the on the news right now <laughs> So we're gonna start day two of the road trip, and we should have what, mom? Like about six hours today. Um, it said from where we're at right now in Florence to where to getting to Florida, where we're going, is six and a half hours. Six and a half hours. So we go. with a couple stops along the way, I'm I'm hoping to be there by five. By five. Yeah. Okay. So that's the game plan. We're ready for day two of travel day. get back in the car we're gonna go home today we're going to Florida All right, let's, go. let's go Mickey you had your second elevator ride ever all right Mickey we're going back to the car look our hotel room is like right up there we overlooked the Waffle House okay let's get in the car We're gonna have a quick break in the Georgia Welcome Center, which I think this is the nicest welcome center. We always say that.
chilling out after his photo shoot. And Dad, how much further do we have? We have 181 miles to go. We just got gas. We have a full tank of gas. It's 181 miles. We have a half a pack of cigarettes. It's dark and we're wearing sunglasses. <laughs> there we go. Does anyone get that quote? <laughs> as a Orlando resident now this is the building that everybody it's like perpetually never done like it's just been under construction for forever We're passing Universal right now, which is some place that I'm gonna make it happen soon. I have some plans, we're gonna get over to Universal soon. Right over here, you can actually see Volcano Bay. Look at that, that's so cool. It's like literally right by the highway, which is crazy. Actually juts out over the like ramp here. <laughs> you can see that. Uh, yeah, look at that, that's crazy. just woke up. Mickey, we're gonna go home. Yeah. Oh, I know. So sleepy. What do you think, baby? We're home. You made it. You did so good. Hello from Orlando with this little guy. So it is now a couple days later, almost like a week later. And I realized I never filmed an outro to this video. And truly, I felt like I didn't film as much as I wanted to in this moving Mickey to Florida um, event saga. But truly, we were all very stressed. Even once we got in the car and things were, thank goodness, going very well, it was just stressful, you know, <laughs> like just the anxiety of he's our world. We just needed him to be safe. And, you know, I think you could kind of tell just the anxiety that we were all feeling, but thank God this, it was the best blessing that he is adjusting so extremely well. We've been here for about a week and he is doing phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. We are so grateful. And yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. We'll give more proper updates in future vlogs. Um, and we have some Disney content on the way. Me, mom, and dad have been out in the parks a couple times this week, which has been exciting. And yeah, we're back to life in Orlando. And I now have a new roommate and he's very adorable. But thank you guys for watching the video. Please like this video, leave me some comments. All those things go a very far way in helping to support me and the channel. And with that, make today magical and we'll see you in the next one.